Hello there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 150 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Today we are talking about step five of the growing process, which is I for inquire. Inquiring minds want to know. Anybody remember that from the National Inquirer? It was a magazine that used to be, oh, maybe it still is ex in existence. I don't get to the stores very often, but it was always when you're at the checkout line, it was on the the end caps and the impulse buying section of every checkout register, although with automatic checkouts, that's probably changed as well. But you'd always see it and it had the most intriguing attention getting headlines you could imagine. The most outrageous things, but also it got your attention. So you looked at at least the cover and sometimes you'd actually pick it up and look inside. And on the rare occasion, you'd buy the crazy thing because you were so curious about the dumb article. You know, they, they've they taken that and put it on steroids with respect to the internet. So there's so much uh, to vie for our attention nowadays. I don't know if that even exists anymore. All right, so what's our topic today? Inquire. I in the growing process stands for inquire. What we want to do as we're in about a little over the middle of the process, but heading out to the end, we want to ask ourselves what's working, what's not working, what lessons have we learned along the way? Uh, like I said, inquiring minds want to know, and the mind we want to understand the most is our own because that's really the only one we can affect in a real substantial way or the most. So today our action item is to ask yourself and share one lesson learned from the challenge so far, or especially from going through the growing process and applying it to the different areas and aspects of your life that we've applied it to already, especially mental growth and mental aspects. So I'll share mine, I've got a couple. Number one, uh, Whatever question I ask myself, and this is why I like the whole inquire thing to, to pause and ask ourselves the question, how's it going? What's working? What's not working? Uh, as we go through the growing process and we're, we're applying it to this area and aspect of our life, whatever question I ask, I always get an answer. If I ask the question and phrase it in a way that will give me a positive response, because I can ask a lot of negative questions, which don't really benefit me, but I want to ask positive questions. It's part of my ants being replaced by apps uh, this month. And I'll always get an answer. Now, I might not always like the answer, but if I'm willing to be open and honest with myself, the answer is really powerful. If I ask myself, uh, I, I didn't think of an example, but if I ask myself a question about why do I always or why do I never, I'm going to get a probably a, a not very powerful response. If I ask myself, uh, how can I, or what would make it possible for me to do something or to think a different way, then I'll get a response that I can actually do something with. And the other aha that I've had from doing annual challenges is that when I break things down and I do one little positive thing a day, it makes what I want and creating the life I want and the things I want in my life almost automatic because it's such a little bit that it's all cumulative that I get results that I couldn't even have, have set as goals or dreamt of because they impact me and those I love and care about in such a profound and positive way. So those two things. One, if I ask a question, I'll get an answer. So I might want to be careful about the questions I ask. And two, breaking things down into little bite-sized pieces is more powerful than you can imagine. You know, people will give me a hard time times and they'll say, what do you mean an annual challenge? I got to do something every day. I'm like, you're already doing things every day, no matter what. So why not do one intentional positive thing a day to create the life that you want? It's that simple. All right. So that's our action item today. Any questions, of course, in guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group, there's a little write up about inquire this step and Trinity's example. We're carrying through the whole growing process. So you can check that out as well. Share your lessons learned in the comments below. Just one. Share one aha, one lesson learned or one epiphany that you've had so far, or especially about mental growth. I find that the mental area and aspect of our life is so vast and so huge. Can't really do it justice in a month, but we do the best we can by talking about different topics, sharing, and just hitting the tip of the iceberg because doing one little thing a day makes a huge difference and impact on every area and aspect of our life. And the mental area is foundational, just like communication and confidence. They're so foundational. We want to make sure we have a solid, good foundation in this area because it impacts every other area and aspect of our life, like we talked about yesterday. All right. Any questions? You know you can always ask me. Otherwise, you can check the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group, and there's always resources there. All right. 
Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow for day 151 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Have an amazing day.